there, all of you positive people. It's me, Growling Panda here. Welcome back to another episode of Extra Credits. Now, uh, this month we were asked to talk about basically any kind of NPC in the game that we sort of, you know, enjoy the most. And let me see in detail what we are meant to do. Ah, okay, so we're supposed to pick any game character, NPC, you know, and pretty much we're, we're gonna explain why we're thankful for their presence in the game, and what's basically interesting about them, uh, it could be Merle Ambrose, Grandmother Raven, Grandfather Spider, pretty much any good or uh, antagonizing character in the game. Um, and I will, I will admit after playing this game for almost 15 years, <laughs> um, it's kind of gotten to a point where there's too many NPCs that I enjoy that I can't really pick just one it's it's too complicated because there's so many NPCs that I've grew, grown up with and you can't really name them all but Merle Ambrose is is definitely one that's that has definitely grown on me a lot grandmother Raven of course um her slash the narrator. Um, pretty much, mostly, even 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 the main antagonists in the game from arc one. Uh, hold on, from arc one to you know now to onwards to what's gonna be coming soon. Honestly, there's so many NPCs that I'm thankful for their presence in general. Um... So... I thought, instead of talking about... an NPC that I am generally thankful for... I'm gonna be talking about an NPC in the game that probably stands out the most because while they are not particularly a hero nor neither a villain they are very unique and special to me because they are basically part of a concept that is rarely been done in in the modern age of you know um, game making these kinds of storytelling kind of deals so in order to see this character for ourselves we are gonna go to a little world that we have previously went to in the past A lot of people are guessing, oh, we're gonna be meeting Greta, uh, Greta Dark Kettle again. No, we are not. Some people are gonna say Duncan Grimwater. No, we are not. You could probably tell from the concept already. It is not Xander. It is not Vanitas. It's not Judge Veg. Design himself. Dazine has been a very unique character. Mostly because he or, you know, I'm just gonna call it Design a day now, because Design was technically the nothing. Um, or he slash they. 
or, you know, whatever. Design really stood out to me so much more than everyone else in the game. Um, not as much as Merle Ambrose or Raven, though. Because those two will always be stuck in my heart forever, always. But design has always struck to me ever since, you know, Caramel came along. And the presence of, you know, the nothing as a whole. Designs, you know, design. Um, it's, it's abstract. It's kind of, you know, this kind of rare thing that everyone, you know, wants to try out. You know, some people are too afraid to do this kind of concept. While King's Out, on the other hand, has taken this large step into turning this abstractness, this bizarre concept of nihilism, and turned it into a story. Whereas the antagonist, the main antagonist for Arc 4, is never really an antagonist, more so someone or something trying to understand how the world works and as the world progressed through arc 4 we get to see design kind of sort of learn more about the world just as if it was a baby you know coming out of the mother and just aging quickly starting to understand and learning a lot of harsh things about, you know, the universe and everything. Um, and there's, there's a lot of really existential breakdowns through Novus and Wallaroo, of course. Where, at this point, Design was trying to find out who he was. And what he wants to be and he felt like that whole concept it wasn't really his choice he thought that he had no choice and the only choice he had had to be put into others of course the whole spiral governmental powers you know mario and everyone else it's even the cabal of course had uh, some kind of weird thing into it oh saying that the nothing is evil it'll destroy us all and everyone was just deciding just openly choosing what design was for him without even without even accepting his own opinion which honestly led me to believe that design never was meant to be an antagonist and that's what kind of brought us the most is that is that in Arc 4, a lot of people were trying to find who the antagonist was, and believe me, I think what Kizo was trying to do is to put out that even through all the people we've helped in the spiral, there are still some who are pretty much just as corrupt, just as greedy, just as manipulative as, you know, Malastare, Morganth, even Grandfather Spider. And design was, was merely just trying to figure out who he was and wanting to be a part of something. That is what has intrigued me the most, because it felt like it felt like a baby, um, pretty much just 
coming right out of nowhere in Caramel. And in Lemuria, we were discovering that, hey, some heroes can be a little bit arrogant sometimes. And, you know, sometimes you have to make big sacrifices, you know, for the greater good. And basically in Novus here, we've learned that pretty much the Spiral has more villains, it seems, than what you'd originally expect. And Design's just troubled by it, and he's only took it really seriously. He took it very personally and thought that, oh, maybe I'm not meant to be here. Maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm meant to be back to where I was because of how these people treat me and they see me as a tool. That is what he thought at the end of Nobis. He saw how how vaguely corrupt some of the spiral government powers were. And as we were traveling into Wallaroo, we were discovering that Design was trying to go back into nothingness, but he couldn't. Because he was already something. And... He's just so troubled that he tries to find clarity. He's trying to find, you know, answers to which there are not. And he ultimately decides that he is Novus, and Novus is him, not what other people think. That is a really touching story that I think King Zhao wanted to make. There are more villains pretty much everywhere in the spiral. Even if they seem good, they are probably just as corrupt. And you know, no matter how much you try to help them, they'll always just be, you know, a little one step ahead. Which I think was what King Zhao was trying to do. Design wasn't supposed to be the main villain. The main villain of Arc 4 was meant to be pretty much the Spiral as a whole. Not all the Spiral. Some of the Spiral. Who, you know, were basically corrupt. And that is really... It's, it's brilliant. It's genius. That's, that's something that's, you know, kind of inspired me to want to take a step towards this kind of concept. Because, you know, there's not much we know about beyond our seeable universe. And I want to figure that out myself. And I want to figure out if there really is a nothing out there. You know, like a living void. There, that could probably, you know barely reach us if we, you know, intertwine together at some point in the future. And Design's character, it... <laughs> could be talking about this for hours, by the way. Design is just... It has me on a chokehold, basically. Design's personality, designs character as a whole, has given me much inspiration. Um, and he's genuinely been, if not, one of my most favorite characters in all of Wizard 101, despite him, you know, being, you know, very fresh, pretty, you know, straight out of, you know, mom. But... I... This is basically my opinion, and I'm very... I'm really thankful for King Zhao putting this effort into... Not an antagonist this time, but, you know, some someone trying to figure out who they are. 
that is generally what I think they were trying to do. Because Dazine is, he will always be, you know, unique to me. He'll always be, you know, someone special to me. And whenever I need, like, a new idea, I'll always, you know, try to come back here and, you know, just stand here with him for, like, five minutes or something. Like I am doing right now. You guys get the point. Design is a really good character. King Sao put a lot of effort into him. And honestly, his whole concept, I'm just very impressed with it. And that's basically it. That's basically the whole video. Um, so in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this extra credits video. If you did enjoy it, you could be a possum person by high five and the like button, and I will see all of you possum people in the next video.